Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Fan Art Friday. This week I'm working on a drawing of Kaori Miyazono from Your Lie in April. I, I recently watched through the anime after getting a bunch of recommendations here on this channel, and I thought the show was pretty amazing. The visuals are beautiful, and the music throughout is just uh, just unbelievable. I highly recommend checking it out if you get a chance. Um, it's just the whole thing is beautiful, and I instantly wanted to work on some fan art. So straight after watching it, I sketched out this idea of the drawing, um, but I've taken a while to um, get around to actually working on the full drawing that you see in this video. Before I start, I also want to say a huge thank you to AxisFX for working on my new intro video. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out their channel and their amazing work. When it came to adding the pen outlines to this drawing, I wanted to take the opportunity to use a new pen that I recently bought, that being a 0.05mm wine-coloured Copic Multiliner pen. Um, I felt like this pen really suits the colour of the outlines that they use in the intro to the show, um, where they have kind of a reddish tone to the outlining um, that I noticed, and I really wanted to try and recreate that as best I could, so this wine-coloured pen uh, is what I used. I also wanted to keep the lines nice and fine throughout the drawing, um, especially uh, adding some almost scratchy lines to the out outlines of the hair. Um, I, I just wanted to keep the lines nice and even throughout, uh, so it didn't take away from any of the details. I, I made sure to add some thicker lines to uh, her eyes and to the underside of her chin, just to make the face kind of the prominent feature of the drawing. But other than that, the drawing had even lines throughout. For the colouring of this drawing I used Copic markers, and I started off by using a pinkish white to add the base layer of the skin tones to her face, and then to add some pinkness to her cheeks and around the uh, outside of the shaded side of her face, I used a pale heath marker. To add the blue colour to her eyes, I started off by using a Prussian blue to add the dark tone. I then used sky blue and ice blue, um, the ice blue being the highlighted ring around the bottom of the eye. Uh, to add some dark outlines to the eyes, I used a black Copic Multiliner, and to add uh, an extra highlight to the eye, I used a Uniball Signo Broad Pigment Ink White Pen. I also decided to try using a Lilac Prismacolor Pencil to add a little bit of colouring to the lower parts of her eyes. And for the colouring of her lips, I used Blush and Pale Heath. After adding the colouring to her face, I then moved on to adding colour to her hair, starting by using a raw silk marker to add the base layer of colouring, uh, making sure to leave some highlights towards the top of her head, and then adding the darker colouring towards the lower parts of the hair. I also made sure to add some extra layers with this pen to show the texture of the hair. And then I used a tea rose marker to add some darker shading to some of the strands of hair, um, especially to the undersides of um, her fringe, um, and to just show up more of the textures in the hair overall. After that, it was time to move on to adding the colouring to her clothing. I started by working on her jacket, and for that I used a pale blue-grey, focusing on leaving some layers highlighted without any colour, and then adding some extra layers of colouring in the places that I wanted shading, just to show up the areas where there's folds in the fabric. And for the logo on her jacket, I used a marker called Barely Beige. For the colouring of her shirt, I started by using an ice blue to add the darker colouring, especially adding the colouring to the, uh, the shading underneath the folds in the fabric, and then to add the lighter tone to her shirt, I used a frost blue. For the colouring of her tie, I used a rose red for the red tone, and then to add some of the stripes across, I used a cool grey 5. To add the colouring to her skirt, for the lighter tones, I used pale blue grey. For the shaded areas, I used a greyish lavender, and for the darkest areas of shading uh, going underneath the shirt, I used a cool grey 7. I used the same two markers for the colouring of the skin tones on her legs, those being pinkish white and pale heath, and then it was time to add the colouring to her violin case. And for that, I used a mixture of pale cherry pink, pale heath, and to add the darkest tones, I used a tender pink. After that, this drawing was completed, and overall it took about two and a half hours to complete. I really enjoyed working on this one, and I've been really wanting to work on it for quite a long time after watching the show. I highly recommend checking out the show if you haven't already. Um, I def I'm def it's definitely a show that I'm going to be watching again sometime in the future. If you enjoy videos like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes, shares, that kind of support is always hugely appreciated, and it means so much to me. 
If you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram and follow along with the progress photos throughout the week, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel. I really enjoyed working on this drawing and I really hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.